In this video I am going to show you 3 amazing masking effect to try in CapCut. 1. Magnify object. So first start a new project and add the footage you want to use to the timeline. Then make a duplicate of the footage and place it on top of the main video. Now select your duplicated clip. Go to mask and select rectangle mask. Then position it at where you want to magnify. So you can also hide your main layer and adjust the mask well. Then add some round corner to the mask. So when you are done you can unhide the main layer. Move the playhead to where you want the magnifying animation to start. Then add a keyframe under transform. Then move the playhead to where you want the animation to end then increase the scale of the footage. Then position it at where you want. So I will trim my video a bit and there you go. This is how to make this magnifying effect in CapCut. Two, progress bar. First add the footage you want to use to the timeline. Now go to text and add a default text to the timeline. Then extend the text to match the duration of the main footage. So you can trim your videos if it's long, so I will highlight and trim all this part off. Then select your text and go to the text area, then type dash as many as you want. Then go to character and reduce it to negative 4. Now resize your bar to the size you want. Then you can also change the color, so I will change mine to red. Then place it at where you want, so I will place mine at the bottom. Now select your text and create a compound clip. And you can also add some effects like glow to the text. So it's time to make the progress bar animation, so go to mask. Then select horizontal mask, then rotate it 270 degrees. You can also add feathering to the mask if you want. Then move the mask to the left and add your first keyframe. Now move the playhead to where you want the animation to end, then move the mask to the right. And this is how to create a progress bar using mask in CapCut. So let's get into the next tutorial. Three, split screen transition. So I will be using this two videos for this particular tutorial. So add them to the timeline and place one on top of the other. Now trim your footages if there is the need to do so. Select the footage on the overlay layer, then move the playhead to where you want the split animation to start, then split your clip. Now make a duplicate off the footage then place it on top of the actual footage. Now sell it the first clip go to mask then select horizontal mask. So I will click on this icon to hide this layer for the meantime. So you can make the split transition vertical, horizontal, or even diagonal, but I want mine to be diagonal. So you can scroll down and use the rotate manually if you want to. Then go to basic and add your first keyframe under transform. Then move the playhead to where you want the animation to end, then move the footage out of frame. So now let's do same for the other footage, so let's unhide it. Then go to mask and select horizontal mask. Now rotate your mask to 150.5 degrees, then go to basic and add your keyframe under transform. Then move the playhead to where you want the animation to end. Then move your footage out of frame. So you can add as many videos as you want. So this is amazing masking effects you can try using CapCut. So if you have a question then drop it in the comment section. And also if this video helped then subscribe, like and share our video.